This is Michelle and I and this is the astrological update for Pisces for the week starting the 13th of August. Now this week there's some quite intense astrology energy going on and it's all about your sense of connection to other people and how worthy you feel in the world and how much surrendered you are to other people in various situations, how much you believe in you. First of all, we have Mars, the planet of action and war, an intensity conjuncting Saturn, the lord of responsibility in your eighth house. Now, the eighth house is all about sex, death, hidden resources, power and powerlessness, struggles, obsession, intensity, naughty primal feelings. So this is quite full on. There may be a part of you that looks at how much you feel powerless in a love relationship or in the past, how powerless did you feel in love relationships? There might be a part of you that feels quite angry when you give your power away. But actually, you know, we, and I mean this deeply from my heart and with compassion and, you know, from my own understanding of situations where I've given my power away, that sometimes we can blame the other person when really we need to look within ourselves and understand that really if we're committed to ourselves and we love ourselves and we're taking care of ourselves, we cannot make ourselves powerless because actually we are all equal and we are all one. So if you feel powerless or angry with someone, it's time to go within and re reconnect to your power and your sense of wholeness and your sense of worthiness and, and wonder and the miracle that, that is you. Now there's a new moon on the 17th and it's in the sixth house, which means you're going to be looking at taking care of yourself more, nurturing yourself, looking after you. But when that new moon actually hits on the 17th, you might feel a bit like a hermit. You might feel that you want to go within, spend some time on your own and withdraw. And there's nothing wrong with that. Spoil yourself, take yourself on a date, look after yourself, do all of your favorite things. Just to be in hermit mode or if you need space or time out doesn't mean that you have to punish yourself or beat yourself with a whip. It can mean that you can have your favorite music on and burn candles and make yourself your favorite meal and nurture yourself in that time where you're thinking things through. And there is quite a lot to think about this week. Now then we have a mystic rectangle and it's very powerful and it's again it's bringing up these emotions connected to relationships but the mystic rectangle isn't happening to alarm you. It's happening to free you. It's happening to open you up to the beauty of your very spirit. Now, the moon will be in your seventh house and that's trining Pluto in the 11th. So there is a sense of camaraderie with yourself and other people, but it's opposite Venus in the fifth, sextiling moon in the seventh, opposite Neptune in the first, sextiling Pluto in the 11th. It's saying to you, let go of your illusion of separateness in a crowd or in a one-to-one -one situation. We are all one. You are one with everybody, but your unique soul is here to have a unique voice so that we can all evolve. These are interesting times and you are a font of wisdom and magic. Your sensitivity can sometimes stop you expressing that for yourself and other people. But this week, the mystical triangle and the new moon is saying, if you take care of you and understand that you are part of it all, many miracles and much magic heads your way. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.